Hey guys, it's Coach Jason here. Today I wanted to go over the five greatest running movies of all time. This is a lot of great movies, but um, I thought a lot about this and I've seen pretty much all of them. I think my list is um, I think a pretty solid one. And then there are other movies that could be you know easily put on this list, but uh, I want to know what you think about my list. Before I start this list, if this is your first time to my channel, um, please click that subscribe button. This run, if you want to learn more about running and training for middle distance, distance events, you want detailed training programs, <clears throat> you want to learn how to train in you know, uh, bad weather, uh, running specific stretching routines, you want detailed training programs from beginning to end, this channel is for you, so click that subscribe button and take a look at the videos that I've got on there. I've got detailed programs for the marathon, half marathon, cross country, 5K, 10K, everything you can imagine is on this list. And I've got videos on threshold training, <clears throat> one mile time trial and what it tells you about your fitness and other events, how to set the appropriate training paces uh, for your current fitness so you're not training over your head so you can keep progressing, periodization. I've got dozens of videos that are very, very helpful. So if you're a coach or an athlete and you're interested in learning more about training, please click that subscribe button and click the notification next to it so that you not only have access to the videos I put out, you know about when I put new ones out there. And just as an FYI, <clears throat> I am a former competitive runner and a 20-year coach. I'm a USATF certified coach. Um, I have coached at the high school collegiate and post-collegiate levels, and I still coach post-collegiates now. Um, and I also, I'm also a Wharton certified musculoskeletal and flexibility therapist. So helping you run fast is important to me, but keeping you healthy while you do it is another thing that's very important to me. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and if you're going to watch any of my videos, especially the detailed ones, please watch them from beginning to end because I explain everything from beginning to end and I don't leave details out so I don't want you missing out on important details that you might you might need later on so please, I encourage you to do that and if you have any other fellow coaches or athletes who you think might benefit from this channel please share it with them you know uh, please share my videos in the channel with them I want to know what they think I want to know what you folk think, folks think leave some comments you know in, in the uh, and leave some feedback in the comments down below and uh, please click the like button either way and please click the subscribe button the more likes the videos get and the more uh, subscribers and channel gets the more YouTube will share it and recommend it throughout the community and I want to share this with as much of uh, people throughout the running community as I possibly can I want to take what I've learned and I've been fortunate enough to learn from some of the best coaches in the country and across the world um, to <clears throat> kind of serve you guys now and gals I want to give as much as I possibly can to help you move forward and continue improving as a coach or an athlete okay so with that said Let's go over my, t my, my list for the top five movies. And I'm going to go from five to one. So number five, okay, and this is a, this is a, uh, an all-timer. Chariots of Fire. Sorry for the slanted line there. This is a great movie. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. It's about a bunch, a bunch of college, college athletes who are dealing with, you know, social, social and cultural issues like race and religion while competing in these races. Um, it kind of gives you a feel of you know, what people go through and some of the things that people have gone through and what the other types of things, life, when life gets in the way in terms of people who just want to con con continue competing and potentially go to the Olympics and so on. It's, it's, it's a life lesson video. And if you want some really epic training music, this music's great. And the beach, the beach running scene with the guys, is just, it's unforgettable. So... I highly encourage you to see that if you haven't seen it. Okay, number four. This is a more recent one. McFarland, USA. This movie is about Coach Jim White. It's based on a true story. Coach Jim White, <clears throat> who in California, who took over a program for essentially a bunch of um, minority kids who are pickers and, and blue-collar workers who had to work to support their family and go to school and you end up training, you end up turning it into the, one of the best college, uh, high school programs in the country, okay? Not only in the state of California, but in the entire country. It won nine or ten state titles um, and also has a lot, a lot of life lessons. And you see the interaction between coach and athlete and how they interact with each other and you'll see some cultural and social uh, issues within the movie as well and a little bit of racism well, not racism but race related um type of uh, content in there as well so it's a, it's not only very uh i think it's an important movie but it's, it's also very educational and it's 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 quite enjoyable too kevin costner plays the coach and it's uh it's a really 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 good movie all right number three 
this movie, I mean, so not not all my movies are about distance running and track, even though I'm a distance running, cross country, and road racing. <clears throat> Race. This is the one about Jesse Owens and his build up to the Berlin Olympics. Um, and also, you, you know, you see as a top, as a, as a world's top athlete, or the best sprinter in the entire world and multiple Olympic champion, you see the stuff that he has to deal with from Nazi Germany and racism and, you know, not even being allowed into events that were, that were put together for him because of racism and social issues. So it's an educational race, but it's also a very uh, important and, and um, relevant uh, movie for the sport and how it's progressed since then. Uh, it teaches you a lot. So, and then you also get a finer appreciation of the, of the sprint events um, and how they used to run it in the dirt and how fast this guy really, really was. Uh, he was a tremendous athlete. Okay, number two. Now, there's been quite a few movies um, made about Steve Prefontaine, but this is my most enjoy um, uh, my favorite, Without Limits. You've got Fire on the Tracks, more of a documentary. You've got Pre with Jared Leto. This one here kind of speaks to the char the charismatic part um, uh, of C. Prefontaine. And Billy Crudup plays him. And you have Donald Sutherland plays um, Bill Bowerman. <clears throat> um, and there's a lot of other familiar faces in this movie, but it really comes to show you how we kind of how people have grown to love Steve Prefontaine in this movie. And you even see, you know, how he had to be forced to kind of slow down at workouts and how he butted heads with Bill Bowerman. And, and, the way, and I, read, I remember reading once that he used to go to Dellinger for his workouts, but he used to go to Bill Bowerman to get fine-tuned, to get his head checked. And you see some of that in this movie, which is I think is really cool. And he still, to this day, to me, is the Babe Ruth of American distance running, of American track and field. He's the rock star, the gold standard. I mean, he's... You know, you can't, you can't, it's hard to not love Steve Prefontaine. But to me, this is the best movie. Number one, this is a movie that's probably not on everybody's list. I'm not even sure if you most folks have heard about this. It's called Endurance. It's a movie about Haile Gibber Selassie. One of the reasons I love this movie is not only because it's about one of the greatest distance runners in the history of the world, Haile Gibber Selassie, multiple 10K uh, champion in the Olympics and world record holder former in the 5K, the 10K, the marathon. Um, but as a fan, um, not only a coach and a competitive athlete, as a fan who loves to watch track and field, and you, I'm sure you know this as well, sometimes in the Olympics, you have, when, it's, when it's across the country, you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to watch the 10K, and what happens? NBC's covering it. You might get the last two laps because they did profiles on other events and 16 heats of another event and so on and so forth, um, and you, you get lucky to see the last two, you know, last two laps of the race. And you don't see what happens and transpires throughout the race. Well, this movie here not only gives you a history of his life and how he grew up in Ethiopia working on the farm and training and all this stuff, but you have a lot of the actual 10K race in the Olympics in this movie. You see a lot of it. You see many breaks free from Paul Tergat. Uh, and the music at the end when the bell rings is incredible. And you see how his family's watching at home on TV and how his family's crying, his wife is crying. It's one of the most, it's the most incredible uh, distance running movie I've ever seen um, and if you ever want to see a feel good movie that's the one and you see the camaraderie between him and the Paul Tergat and, and I think Salah Hassou who won the bronze medal in 10k how they get together at the end when, when they were in the medal ceremony you see him crying at the medal ceremony it's, it's it, the movie is unbelievable it's an unforgettable movie I think it might have been out you know it's not like a critically acclaimed movie like the Jason Bourne movies or something it might have been out in like four theaters and it made $24 half of which came from me when I went to see it. So um, I highly recommend that movie if you have not seen it. That, to me, is the greatest running movie of all time, um, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about this list. I'd be curious to know what, what's on here. I mean, there's a lot of things that I've obviously left out. There's other movies that could easily be on here. There's some under-the-radar movies um, that, are, that, are, that are really, really good as well. So um, I'd love to know what you think. Put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. And please share this video on my channel with some friends and family or fellow athletes and coaches. I want to know what everybody else thinks. Let's get the, you know, the running community involved. Um, you know, a lot of times I, don't, I, I think that running doesn't get the appreciation that it deserves. And this is a way of kind of me giving back and showing appreciation. And, and with my programs that I put on the channel, uh, out, out, out the channel as well, which is detailed training programs, is stuff that you could use as a guide or a template to some to, to get you started or maybe put you a couple steps ahead towards <clears throat> achieving your goal. And you'll see a bunch of other videos I've got on there as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think. 
Happy holidays, and I'll talk to you next time.